it's me, Shadow, and I'm here to show you all how you can automate Pokeballs all the way from the Apricorn all the way up to the actual Pokeball itself. Now, there are a few ways to do this, so if you are going to enjoy this, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. If there's anything in the future you think needs help being assisted and shown how to do, now, the first step, don't worry, it's pretty simple. You just need the Apricorns themselves. There is a quest in the quest book to get these to begin with. So we're just going to start with just the red ones, because that's all you really need to get your farm going. Now, you could just, like, you know, plant them around like this, which, yes, you can do. But the question becomes, why? When you have a much better option in the item known as a botany pot right here. We're going to take the other ones. Uh, it's just going to grab whatever one there is. Just to show you, the botany pot is made by... Ah, a flower pot and any color terracotta. So if you find a biome that is just full of terracotta, that is really handy for you because you don't need to worry about it as badly. It's not too bad. Uh, you need a botany pot, obviously. Then you need a hopper to slap in there or you can just craft it with it. This will make it so that the botany pot will output anything you have made into a chest. And the last thing you're just going to need is some dirt. It can be dirt, it can be grass, it can be whatever you want. You just throw the dirt in there, throw the apricorn on top of that. And it takes about two minutes to make. So don't worry about if how slow one of them is. You're just going to have to slap down a few more of these bad boys. Like so. And you can just slap more bonnie pots on top of them. And they will just all be growing at the exact same time. Now, you can have these either going into the chests as they are, which is fine, or the better option is that you're going to be making a refined, I should probably just go to the mod itself, the refined storage, which as you can see has lots of stuff. We're just going to take a disk drive, The not the constructors, we need exporters, we need importers, we don't need dirt, chests, apricorns, none of that, we need a controller. And you just need a crafting grid. Now, I do believe... If you don't want to worry about the um, storage capacity, there should be a creative one. Uh, somewhere in here. I guess it doesn't exist. Creative. There we go. Creative storage disk. Now, now it is possible to obtain these without cheating, obviously. But if you don't want to have to deal with the whole... Oh, this thing's gonna run out of space. Just... Just do that. Just make one yourself. Just cheat it in. It's infinite space, so you don't have to worry about nothing. If you want power, just go for, like... Ah, words. Creative. You can get any sort of... Ah, there we go. Creative controller. Same difference. Just break that. Slap it to the side. And now this is infinitely powered with infinite storage. You don't gotta worry about anything after that. And all you have to do is put on the importers, like so, on all of these chests. Uh, basically, however you feel you want them to be arranged. Uh, probably should have made that different, so we're just gonna break that middle one. We don't need it. It's not, it's, this is just an example. You can build this however you want. That's all that matters. Make sure to connect all these up with cables so that they are all touching. Otherwise, they will not function. Just connect them up to your exporters, and they will start sucking up all of your apricorns into the system. That's step one. Pretty simple. Again, you can just use regular chests or anything else, but you are going to need to make a some kind of refined storage, because we don't have, like, drawers or anything, or other storage systems that are better. Yeah, so let's go on to the next step, which is how do we make lids and bases? Alright, so this is all set up. Next, all you need to do is you're going to need to be exporting these apricorns out into some sort of smeltery system. Now, you can use any furnace. So let's just type in furnace and show you, for example. You can use a furnace, a blast furnace, the force furnaces or the dark matter, red matter, or the essence ones. Or if you just want to use energy to power it, you can use a redstone. Honestly, out of all of these options here, the red matter one is the best because it doesn't, it's just super, it's just instant. Watch, you're just going to 
take the exporter, take an importer, cable, cable, cable. You just take the Africorns and set them to be the only thing being exported. Right, it has to be on top. That is a key factor of this thing. I almost forgot that detail. That's fine. Do that, do this, walla walla. They all start getting slapped in there. You can add speed upgrades to make this faster. That is entirely up to you whether or not you want that. However, if you want to fuel this thing, I recommend you get an EMC link. These are not too expensive for the first one. Again, you're going to need a lot of these anyways for later stuff. But once you have your EMC system set up, I did set up a video on how to make this like your generation process start sooner because you can do it within the first minute. I will try to link that down below. I'm not sure if YouTube will let me. We're just going to be taking the... Uh, we're just going to take the EMC4 because that's all we're going to need. And now the simple way to do this is you can just get a hopper as well. Get any form of coal you're going to want to use. And just go uh, hopper link this will input coal if I had anything in there. I recommend making flowers because these are very useful. We're just going to make the, we're just going to slap down this one just so for tutorial reasons, it's not that big of a deal. This gets infinite coal. It instantly makes all of these. I do recommend the speed upgrades for this stuff. They're really easy to make. All you need is sugar, an upgrade plate, which is just all the stuff you can already make and EMC everything from refined storage it is amazing so just gonna go wah 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 now while all this is being done we now have cooked apricorns which is perfect gonna set these aside for now we don't need most of these but we are gonna need a couple of these so best way to cook the apricorns again red matter furnace emc links dumping coal into them now, once you are later game, you can just use a trans uh, furnace, uh, transmutation interface. This is really crazy. You slap this up there. Oops, we only need one of those. And so what this does is that acts as a link to everything you have ever learned. So let me just alchemical knowledge book. Uh, it's, a, it's a tome, right? Yeah, the Tome of Knowledge unlocks all transmutation knowledge, and we just eat that up. I mean, it should have worked. Did it work? Uh, I have no idea, and I have no way of telling. Uh, oh, we just got. There we go. I'm not sure that worked. I'm not 100% sure how this device works. So. Do it at your own peril. However, this should be good enough for what we need. Now, ah, let's get on to the next step, where is the actual, you know, automation of Pokeballs. Because this is going to be the slightly most confusing part of it. One moment. Next step. Alright, the final-ish part of how to make a Pokeball automation system is you're going to need... These things called basic auto crafting tables. These aren't too hard to use in practice, but can can be slightly annoying to work with. Firstly, these do have to be powered, so I'm just gonna throw these in here, which should get them plenty of power to do whatever they need to do. And next, you're just going to need to take some apricorns or whatever it is you're crafting, slap them up here for the lid recipe. There we go. That is now ready. It is selected. Now the problem is that you'd be like, oh, I could just do exporter. Cable, 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 right? No. For some reason, this mod does not work with refined storage. In that regard. It does, however, allow you to import things. Which doesn't make sense why it does one thing but not the other. This is f there we go. Uh, it is not too hard, however, to make a fix for this, which is just use hoppers. 
Yeah. That that is the solution for this. Is you have to use a hopper and set it to be exactly what you want it to be. Now, luckily, there's enough sides for the Pokeballs part of it that it's not going to be an issue making this. So, for example, this is getting all of the lids. I'm going to take these, put up another exporter over here that takes just lids. I'm going to slap lid, button, base, click that recipe. It did not save it because I was not fast enough, so simple problems have simple solutions. We just grab enough that it physically cannot ignore me. Now, you're also going to have to set two hoppers on either side and go, one of these is going to be getting from this EMC link and this EMC link, one stone buns, one is bases. And the top part is the lids. So you're just going to slap all of these inside of here. And as fast as you can, save that recipe. So now, what this is going to do is that these are being automatically put in here in place because these will only ever take the exact amount needed. No more, no less, and it only costs you power to get it to work. Now obviously you can make your own power system. And if you want to see me make you a power system that's pretty efficient, it's just a little tedious to set up, comment that down below. But yes, let's run it all back one more time for review. Bonnie pots on top of chests with importers, or you can use pipes to go into one chest. I don't recommend that. Importers are simpler to use and much more efficient. A fine storage system to take everything in and put everything out because, let's be honest, you're going to need this anyways. A red matter furnace which cooks the apricorns as they are made with an EMC or whatever kind of system you want to end up using that puts all the coal into the system to make sure that our furnace is smelting it all. An exporter on top of a hopper on top of a basic crafting table which is turning the apricorns that you desire into the lids that you desire. Now obviously I'm just using the red ones as an example. This works with literally any one of the lids if we go into the little thing over here and type in lids. You can make any lid the exact same way. Just follow that recipe and make sure if it's two different lids, for example, like we have ultra ball lids, make sure that you have two hoppers going into the auto crafting table that are giving in the type of auto craft that you need for the lids. So it's not too hard to do it. Ancient heavy ball lids, fast ball lids, Every single one of these works the exact same way. The only thing that isn't the same is the Master Ball. But if you want to see how to take this a step further and get the Master Ball automated, again, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope to see you all in the future, and I hope this helped you a lot for how to automate these Pokeball systems because they are a little weird. So see ya, and love ya. Bye!